Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a build inspired by the game Black Myth Wukong. If you're excited for the Destin one in the game or love the Monkey King from Chinese mythology, then this build is for you. This is also my first build using the new 2024 D&D rules, and I'm mixing them with some 2014 mechanics. I'm using level 8 for this build, which is a sweet spot for most campaigns, high enough to give us some cool features without going too far. Starting off, we're using the 2024 Monk base class with the Way of the Drunken Master subclass. Monk is a no-brainer for a Wukong-inspired build, agile, fast, and tricky. The Drunken Master style feels perfect for Wukong's unpredictable, wild fighting style. Plus, the Brewer's Kit fits right in for making wine, just like in the game. Gotta keep that gourd full. For skills, we're taking Acrobatics and Stealth, both great for a character like Wukong. As for tools, I'd love to use the Herbalism Kit to make medicines, but it's not available on D&D Beyond at the moment, so I'm using Alchemist tools as a backup. Maybe that's a bug or a new rule I just haven't seen yet. Martial Arts lets us use our dexterity for attack rolls and gives us bonus unarmed strikes. We've also got Unarmored Defense, Flurry of Blows, Patient Defense, and Step of the Wind. Basically, we'll be dodging, weaving, and striking fast, just like Wukong. We also have Deflect Attacks to reduce incoming damage, and if we time it right, redirect that attack right back at the enemy. The Drunken Master subclass really shines with Drunken Technique, which gives us Disengage and boosts our speed after Flurry of Blows. Perfect for getting in and out of combat. Later, Tipsy Sway adds fun stuff like leaping to your feet and redirecting attacks, keeping combat chaotic and fun. For our ASI, I took Fey Touched. Wukong fits the Fey archetype in D&D terms, mischievous, magical, and unpredictable. This gives us a bonus to Wisdom and lets us access Misty Step, which works like his Cloud Step from the game, and Hunter's Mark for that extra damage boost. Next, we dip into Cleric, specifically the Trickery Domain. Wu Kong is the ultimate trickster, like Loki of Norse mythology. So this fits perfectly. We get Blessing of the Trickster, Channel Divinity, and Channel Divinity Invoke Duplicity. This last one really feels like the Monkey King, letting us summon an illusion of ourselves to distract enemies. As for spells, we're leaning into trickster theme with Guidance, Thaumaturgy, Charm Person, and Disguise Self. I've also added Command for some extra shenanigans, and Creator Destroy Water to lean into Wukong's mastery of the elements. Detect Evil and Good and Protection from Evil and Good should allow Wukong to defend himself from those nasty Yaguais. Detect Poison and Disease and Healing Word are also great picks for any cleric. For our background, we're going with the 2024 Sage, a nod to Wukong being called the Great Sage, Heaven's Equal, in Journey to the West. This gives us proficiencies in Arcana, History, and Calligrapher supplies. For the Ability Score bonuses, we're going to go with a plus two in Wisdom and plus one in Constitution. As for Magic Initiate, I've gone with a Wisdom bonus, and I've taken the spells Minor Illusion, Prestidigitation, and Silent Image adding to Wukong's array of trickster spellcasting. For species, I went with the Hadazi. Perfect for an agile, monkey-like character, but if your DM isn't allowing Spelljammer content, Shifter or Custom Origin are a great alternative. For ability scores, I used Point Buy and focused on Dexterity, Wisdom, and Constitution. Our main combat stats will keep us quick and hard to hit, while Wisdom helps with our cleric spells. Finally, for equipment, we're going to go with the standard monk gear and a lute, since, fun fact, monkeys can actually play string instruments. And we're going to go with Brewer's Supplies, which fits our Drunken Master theme. I also grabbed the quarterstaff with the sage background. If your DM's cool with it, ask for a pole of collapsing to flavor as Wukong's iconic staff. Here's the full build at level 8. After that, I'd recommend taking a couple more monk levels for another ASI or feat to boost dexterity. So there you have it, an agile trickster inspired build that feels like a true homage to the Monkey King and Black Myth Wukong. Whether you're dodging attacks, summoning illusions, or brewing wine, this build is a blast to play. Be sure to subscribe for more D&D builds, and let me know in the comments what you think of this one. See you in the next video, and remember, the Monkey King always finds a way.